Dominic Mysterio's in-ring debut at SummerSlam will now be a street fight. WWE confirmed today Dominic and Seth Rollins will face off in a street fight at SummerSlam during their contract signing on Raw this week. Rollins said he would do Dominic a favor, allow weapons to be used in the match. Dominic had previously used a kendo stick as a weapon against Rollins and Murphy. They brutalized Dominic with kendo stick shots on Raw this week. And for this coming Monday's Go Home episode of Raw, they're teasing Ray will make an appearance. I wonder if that means he's re-signed or is close to re-signing. We'll try to follow up on that. But SummerSlam is August 23rd, and we've got Drew McIntyre versus Randy Orton for the WWE title, Sasha versus Asuka, and Bailey versus Asuka, because they did the tri-branded women's battle royal on SmackDown for a shot at Bailey's title. As always, I foolishly expected, for example, that it would be Rhea Ripley, but it turns out it was Asuka. So Asuka is fighting for the Raw title in one match, and then she will fight for the Raw title in a second match. Now, the good news is, well, those will be two very good matches, but there you go. I'm still waiting for Hunter to pay off that promise that everything with Charlotte and Rhea Ripley was going to eventually make sense. Mm. We got the Street Profits versus Andrade Angel Garza for the Raw Tag Team titles. We have Braun Strowman uh, defending the Universal title against The Fiend in a storyline where they've apparently taken over each other's bodies. I wish I was making that up. We have Apollo Crews versus MVP for the U.S. title. Dominic versus Seth. And Sonya Deville will be wrestling on the show against Mandy Rose in a hair versus hair match. So that's your lineup for SummerSlam coming up this coming Sunday. Tomorrow's the Raw Go Home Show. We'll see what they do. That and also confirm, by the way, <laughs> yes. you're not going to jump in here. Okay. Uh, the name of this... this so That is a card of matches that you just named there. And this is a stupid... This, this group... It's retribution, it's not retaliation, bad. not redemption, which I think I called it last night. Oh, there's lots of things I know, you can call it. Just There's only so many you can say on the air right now. I know people are mad, but, dude, who cares? It's a goofy, wacky, stupid angle. I mean, maybe it's why the numbers are up. I guess it's possible. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine it. But SmackDown literally started with them saying... Oh, don't worry, fans. After what happened over the past week, we have more security than ever around the Performance Center just to make sure that they won't be getting into the building tonight. It was not five minutes later that the lights went out and they were all in the building. Had they got in the building, had the announcers went running, and they, they beat up Big E, and they beat up John Morrison, and then they ran away. And the show just continued on until they did the same thing in the main event. If you like this, more power to you. I think it sucks. It's putting it mildly. Yeah, it's stupid. There are incredible plot holes in it, and it just comes across as silly and not scary. And I don't know what their goal is. I, I, you know, at the end of the day, I am assuming Sheamus is going to be a part of it, uh, considering that he keeps blowing it all off and nobody attacks him during his matches. Because otherwise, if this is all to lead up to all of them attacking Sheamus, uh, that's stupid too, and I don't want to see that. This is just, it's just bad. And it's bad on two shows, and that's like the worst part of everything. It's bad on both shows. We've also got the announcement that there is now an agreement with the city of Orlando, Florida. According to Spectrum Sports' John Alba, they will be running shows, WWE, at the Amway Center through October 30th. At this point, there will be no fans in the building. Alba spoke to a city rep who gave him the details. Barring any amendment, WWE will be able to run empty arena shows for the next two and a half months. And they are, in fact, going to be doing the virtual fan gimmick. There's going to be... They've actually sent out, like... Uh, yeah, what's going on over there, Mike? Got the action going on in this house at all times. Sure sounds like it. So they've sent out requests for fans that want to be a part of this, this virtual deal. So you're going to see... What they've been doing in, in various sports, fans on the big screen, fans yelling and screaming. I mean, we'll see if it's any good. 
I'm 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 open to the idea of trying something new. 